Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and also over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. Um, come follow me on Facebook, y'all. Um, if you're not a subscriber here, I would be honored for you to be a subscriber at Melina Pilot Me Crafty Scrapper. Um, all kinds of paper crafting, uh, book reviews, unboxing videos, um, chatty videos sometimes. Uh, <laughs> so I have a little bit of something for everybody. Um, if you're a book lover, if you're a paper crafting lover, um, you know, if you like to chit chat with somebody on YouTube that is not live but thinks she's talking to you in real time anyway. <laughs> I'm the girl for you. Um, today we are going to do something a little bit different. Um, I know that a lot of you have older stash in your inventory at home of paper crafts. And these are um, a package of Teresa Collins pre-made tags. And they're really modern looking that I got at a crafty yard sale years and years and years ago. They are circa 2014. So that's how old they are. That's probably about how long they've been in my stash. Maybe 2016-ish, but a long time. And um, they intrigued me when I first saw them and I thought, I want these, they're, they're really cute. I can do something with them. But a lot of them are so modern looking, I thought, hmm, I'm not going to be able to do something with all of these. But I can think of one thing that I can do um, with them, and it's just taken me a while to get around to them. I want to vintage these modern pre-made tags up and um, make them something that I can add to either my scrapbooks, my journals, um you know whatever my art journaling there's another thing i could do with them and these would make beautiful tucks to put on the corner of a journal page and just adhere down on two sides and then have space there or put down into a uh, pocket of a journal and then um, as an accent on the edge where you would put your picture for scrapbooking that would be also a lovely idea but this is one of the tags that came from this stack and here is how this one come about.
So, neat idea, huh? I thought so anyway. And um, that gives you a new way to use your Nouveau crystal drops. You don't have to just use dots around on your projects. You can use them as like a shimmery accent. I just love that shimmer that I get with that. This one is, let's see, what's it called? Uh, it's just called metallic. No, I'm sorry. Crystal Drops, this is a metallic line from Nuvo, and it's called Pale Gold. Okay, so that is that Nuvo package. And um, the ink that I used on this one is the Memento Gray Flannel. Um, a lot of people use the Memento Tuxedo Black, and um, that is the gray flannel. I like how it kind of um, fades into the tag. I love that look. The stamp set that I'm using is new to our shop. It is a Tim Holtz collection. It is called Botanical Collage and the call numbers on it are CMS447. If you're looking for that, if um, you are overseas or something and we are not able to ship to you at this current moment, um, then that is your uh, information to find that stamp set and um, it's got just beautiful kind of ad print, newspaper print around some um, florals and butterflies. Very, very pretty set. But we do have that in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com. And then I used um, just a little bit, um, a piece of scrap doily that I've just got in my stash. This, the tassel at the top, is from Frayed fabric so it is the fabric edges that I frayed off and that's what it was it was a long piece of fabric maybe this long that I frayed the edges of and I kept those frayed edges and I just think that makes a cute tag tassel so that was that uh, the inks that I used were the picket fence distress spray and the rustic wilderness oxide spray and just pulled the plunger out and um, splattered that and then i did just a really rough squiggly line around the edges with a le pen the brown that's made by marvy and at the bottom that was a used piece of um, book page that i had um, Put in an art journaling process video and it has a little bit of white gesso on the edges of it so that gives just a little bit more character to that tag and I'm using the uh, walnut stain distress oxide ink so that is that tag and I thought maybe we could do a few more while we sit here and um, I love this mustardy one and it's got this what kind of um, what is that herringbone or something the herringbone pattern whatever to it there i love that and of course we will ink around the edges i'm going to get an old dictionary page and probably use a little bit more of that dolly also I think I want to put this down the middle and then leave a little bit of the mustard pattern showing at the top and the bottom. So I need to trim this about here. And I want a straight edge instead of a torn edge. Usually I go for t torn edges, y'all know that. I'm really really loving that torn that tired edge lately <laughs> but let's see if we can't get a straight edge going on this one i'm going to um, glue it down the middle of this tag and then i'll cut off excess yep just get it right down the middle and come back and tear off
Okay, what side? Nat Ooh, I like that side a little better than that side. It says natural history. And we are making vintage, so that seems appropriate, I think, anyway. Let's move it over so that natural history will be on it all the way. I love that. Scooch it over on the bottom side a little bit. Get it as straight as possible. And I will get my sticky scissors. Cut off the excess and then we will distress ink. And I think I will use a little bit of that distress ink to get a few little stenciling spots done. This is the coffee stencil that we have available at the shop, scrapbookingwithme.com. Anytime I say the shop, that is what I am meaning. I've had um, people watch a video and me use the stuff, you know, all my tools and stuff that I use, and they <laughs> are asking all the time, where did you get that? Most everything that I use comes from our shop. I try my best to use stuff that you can buy from us, that we carry in the shop. That helps us. It helps you. It helps us. So, I try my best. Now, if there's ever something that I'm using in a video that does not come from the shop, I try my best to let you know that. Okay, so I taped it down so we're not moving around too much. I want to get these little splattery spots on my tag and then I'll ink around the edges and we'll do some kind of something off to the side over here because I'm not going to do that stenciling. All right, um, I'm going to use a sponge dauber just because that helps me a little bit easier to get into the little fine places more than this big piece and I'm going to use the uh, walnut stain to do that and just peck 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 around and get those spots onto my tag and that beautiful dictionary paper And then I will pull up and we just have the faintest I didn't um, smear it I just tap tap tapped I like that and I think I might do just a little bitty yep I think I'll do this little coffee ring right here just the smallest little And I probably will smear, smear, smear this one to get it just a little bit darker than the little specks I've just done. There we go. Yep, I like that. Yay! And let's see. Let's go around just a little bit more just to get it almost to the edge there. Yep. I like that. So be sure to grab that stencil out of the shop if you haven't already. I love stencil work. I love using a stencil. You can make it as subtle or as strong as you want to. And it's kind of like stamping, but um, it's more precise in my opinion. You can get things put down where you want them and be as intentional as you want. So this tag is already coming together quite nicely. I love that. Um, let's do this little queen bee tag. I think will look really good on that. We'll, we'll see whenever I get it cut out here. But this is just a little piece of something that has been in my stash for a while. 
Okay, and then the rest of that doily that I've got left, I think maybe like this. Yep, I like that. And just have the tag kind of hanging off the edge. Ink it with the walnut stain. And just barely give a little bit of dirtying up to that dolly. And I like when there's enough room on the back of a dolly to actually put glue on. Uh, this one barely had any, <laughs> barely had any room to do that. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of that tag since all of it won't be on there. Get my messy rag and get all that excess glue out. Oh, I like that. And maybe let's do a little word phrase of some kind. A little phrase from Shabby Dabby Do. Get that cut out and inked. Okay, I'm thinking that, and then I'll put just a little piece of washi about right there to give myself a good cluster because it just seems like it needs another little something. Yep, I like that. I don't use this washi a lot. I usually use this washi um, to tape down my stencils, but it is almost all used up and it's kind of transparent and I have no clue where this come from but I do like it let's see needs to be a little bit smaller I think I like that piece yep use that and then add another little piece over here I like that and use the black sharpie I have to kind of do some wonky little lines here just around the dictionary paper I don't want them too distinct just kind of um, Wondering maybe why they're there kind of thing. <laughs> yep, I like that. And then I've got this thick um, hemp kind of cording. And let's do a few pieces of this. Lila Rose. She got a new toy the other day, so she's squeaking it over there beside me. It's just she and I right now. We're not used to a quiet house, are we, baby? Is that why you're making squeaky noises? you bringing me your toy, huh? All right, let's do that through and then that through. A little shorter and I like it. I like it like that. That one turned out nice I think. I do like that. So there's our two and on that one um, I put the book page a little bit longer so it makes it look a little longer. I like that look. So this is just a way to show you that if you have some modern things, pre-made stuff in your stash. You don't have to necessarily get rid of it. You can make it um, what you want and um, all the while using up stuff in your stash that you've had in there forever. I love doing that. 
Y'all know I love um, scrap busting. And this was some I was cleaning out the other day. Uh, we were trying to get some mystery boxes together for um, the shop. And I saw these and I thought maybe I could just give these to somebody that would actually appreciate them in their own um, modern look. And then I thought, mm, no, I remember buying these for the specific purpose of making them my own. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, there is one in here that I think I have already used. Or maybe it was already like that. And that's why the person sold it. See this one right here? It's not in here that I know of. So maybe that's what it was. The person that sold these at that crafty um, craft fair or whatever it was uh, used that one tag and then wanted to sell it. Sell all the rest of the lot because I don't see that one in here. And I don't remember using it on anything. Look how wild that one is. <gasps> oh, I don't know that I could um, use any of the color on that one. I would just use that, cover it completely, and <laughs> uh, make it something totally new. Um, for this one, we just have these little, um, looks like um, asterisks at the bottom. And it's white and then has this little green circle around the edge and I'm thinking let's try to do another one a little like this one and we'll use that dictionary page that we had cut off of this and use it on here and we'll extend the height of this tag like we did this one. I'm going to ink the dictionary page all the way across where I think it will be used and then we'll um, trim off the edges. I'm just going to put glue across that design at the bottom and then pull this down until it's covering the design completely and then use my sticky scissors to get off the excess just on the width edges not the length. Okay. I like that. Very pretty. Go ahead and ink the edges of this with the walnut stain and then I will dirty up a little bit on here too. Oh yeah, and then that gives us a good um, spot to stamp. We're going to stamp on this one. All right, and then let me get my scrap paper here. I just didn't pull up my messy mat. I still have my messy mat. I just didn't pull it up. All right, let's kind of mimic that first one we did with... Maybe this stamp. Oh yeah, I like that. So let's take this one off of our platform. We have bigger platforms coming to the shop. I ordered some. I had somebody um, interested in a little bit bigger than a four inch platform for some of their bigger stamps. So we do have um, more of those coming. And I'm going to use that same gray flannel memento ink. Okay, and then just stamp down as hard as you can press oh I love it already 
but I am going to off stamp over here to the side just so that I can get a few little marks of something else. There we go. That just gives a few little inky spots that mm, something else was there. Okay. And then let's do, I don't really have any more of that dolly left. It's pretty much used up. But I do have this blue one that's got a little bit of green in it that will maybe pull that out a little bit. Maybe up here with a little something on the edge. Yep, I like that. There. And then ink it a little bit. Get it a little dirty it is quite bright on this tag we're trying to make vintage yep I like that um, we'll put a little something here to make it anchored onto the project sometimes um, I want to put stuff on and it just kind of looks like it's floating there maybe um, not meant to be so I have to put a little something down to anchor it so it looks like it's supposed to be there. Put a little bit more glue here. All right, she wanted up here. There she is. You're going to sniff everything, right? Yeah. Yep. Look up here. She's filled out. Her fur has filled out a little bit since the last time I showed her to y'all. She is not as foxy looking. <laughs> All right, you're up here, so what were you wanting to do? Huh? What were you both? Yes, thank you for the kisses. Oh, thanks so much. All right, do you approve? You approve of my project? Oh, you don't? You would rather me be petting you, right? Just sitting in the recliner and you Yep, yep, just sitting in the recliner and you giving me kisses. Yep, that's what you would rather me be doing. Right, right, mm-hmm. Look, look up at them. Tell them bye. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs> All right, so maybe some of this gold washi. I have so much washi, y'all. I need to use it up, do something with it. Oh, I like that. That pulled away a little bit. And then maybe a little piece down here, and we can put a uh, Tim Holtz word sticker down here, too. I like that. And then we can put a word sticker over the top of that. Let's do black. Um, own your dreams. First one I even spotted, and it goes very well with that. So right across the bottom there, we'll do some uh, lines around the edges, and let's splatter some. So let's do, hmm, I already got enough white on there. And so we'll need a little bit of green, I think. So the rustic wilderness. And let's just do some vintage photo that I'm almost out of. All right, so vintage photo oxide and rustic wilderness oxide. And I'm just going to unscrew and tap, tap, tap. And don't be afraid to do this, y'all. Just splatter, splatter, splatter. It works. It is neat looking. And you don't have to spray it with water after you get done splattering. You can just splatter. Don't have to um, use the water on it. The water does make it spray around and um, it makes it um, run. Is the word I'm trying to think of there 
but you don't have to use that. Then all you have to do is either let it air dry like that or use a heat tool of some kind. And I try my best to remember, pick up my project with my tweezers and then start drying it. And you see how that gray ink just kind of fades to the background? I love that look. It's like it, it is worn, it's had stuff like um, layers of paint kind of on there and then you just kind of revealed this background that was uh, covered up years and years and years ago. That's just what it seems like to me anyway. Then I'm going to get my, let's see, let's just go with the brown pen that I have and I'm just going to do some squigglies around the edges and then just do another one that kind of goes outside of the lines of the first one you did. Okay, and let's do some Nouveau drops. So I'm going to give myself a little line there and then I'm going to give myself a little line here and just with my finger I'm going to blot it in. I'm going to come up into that doily some and then that is going to any of that splotchy paint that wasn't dry it's going to move that around a little bit and I like that look. So I've got a few dots of spray over here that will move around some. Alright, I love that. I love the shimmer of the, the Nouveau drops. So pretty. And now let's figure out what topper we want. I have got some seam binding and some green crochet thread that was in the August E-Club kit that I don't think I want to use. So let's get a longer piece of seam binding so that we can wrap it around in a library knot. Okay. And then a little bit of green crochet thread, same length or roughly the same length. Okay. And then all together folded. And then let's hook it through here. And then when you have two different trims that you're wanting to put through for a tassel, it's just um, a little bit tricky getting all the tails together and then all the loop together so you can pull it through correctly. Ooh, I like how that looks. And then with the crochet thread, just to give it a little extra something, I think I will do a little bow here in the front. So I'm going to tie knot there we go and then do the bow and then I will get the pieces of seam binding same lengths. Oh, I like that one. Little bow. Like it. Like it. So, that is just um, one way that you can, or, you know, a couple of ways, that you, you can uh, vintage up your modern pre-made pieces that are in your stash. Don't be afraid to um, go at them and make them your own because, I mean, unless I was really doing a modern 
scrapbook page. I just don't see me ever using these tags like they are here. So I like that I can um, use them anyway as a base to um, expound on. That's a good word, right? There's another $5 word. <laughs> I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you what I was working on today and um, see if you would like to do the same thing. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.